So let's see if we can look at some examples of limits at infinity for polynomial functions using uh, some of those theorems that we just showed in the last video here. So here I've got in part A, I've got limit as x approaches positive infinity of negative 4x to the third plus 5x squared minus 9. Notice that this is a polynomial. So because this guy right here is a polynomial, I could ignore everything except for that leading term. That's really the only piece that I care about. So I'm going to say limit as x approaches positive infinity of negative 4x to the third power. And from here, it's up to you if you want to, I think you could probably just evaluate this limit if you just, if you were just to picture what the graph of negative four X cubed looks like in your mind. But let's say we don't remember that off the top of our heads. I'm gonna factor that negative four out, negative four times limit as X approaches infinity here. I have X to the third. And here we could go back in the last video and look at it and say, okay, here, in this case, x is approaching infinity. My power of x is odd. So in this case, I know that this must approach infinity, but remember, I still have this minus four right here. So I need to take that and multiply that by negative four. And really the only thing that's going to do here, right? I've got a, uh, a negative number here times here, we don't have the sign written, but it's a positive number. So a negative times a positive would give me a negative infinity here. That four is not gonna do anything to the infinity. It almost sort of just gets absorbed by it. And hey, there's my answer. So really, really nice, really uh, pretty straightforward to do once we have those properties, which is why we wanted to spend the time proving them. In part B here, here I've got limit x approaches negative infinity of 5x squared. Again, this I can just look at the limit of the leading term. Limit as x approaches negative infinity 5x squared. Again, if you need to, factor that constant multiple out here. So this would be 5 times limit as x approaches infinity, oops, uh, negative infinity, excuse me. Uh, negative infinity of x squared. Here I need to pay attention to the, uh, the power here. Do I have an even or an odd power and are we approaching positive or negative infinity? Here in this case, my power is even, which means that no matter what, I'm approaching positive infinity here regardless of what x approaches. And then I have five times infinity. So it's a positive times a positive. Here I'll have positive infinity, there we go. Part C, here I've got limit as x approaches negative infinity, nine x to the fifth plus eight x squared plus one. Again, here we have a polynomial, so let's just look at the leading term. Limit as x approaches negative infinity, I have nine x to the fifth power. Maybe we'll factor that nine out limit as x approaches negative infinity. Here I've got x to the fifth. And again, I'm gonna pay attention to uh, what is x approaching and then do we have an even power of x or an odd power of x? So here in this case, we have an odd power of x. x is approaching negative infinity, which means that that expression must approach negative infinity but of course we can't forget about our power of, or excuse me, our multiple of nine here. I have a positive times a negative, which I know is just gonna give me a negative number. I have negative infinity here as my limit. And then lastly down here, uh, we've got limit as x approaches infinity, negative three x to the fourth power plus two x squared plus x minus six. Again, we're just gonna be paying attention to that leading term. So here, negative three x to the fourth power. Um, we can factor the negative three out here. So negative three times the limit as x approaches infinity here, uh, x to the fourth here. Here we have a positive uh, infinity that x is approaching and an even power of x. So that limit part must approach infinity but I, again, I have this negative three multiple that I need to worry about. So I have a negative number times a positive number would give me a negative number. This must approach negative infinity. So 
when we're working at looking at limits at positive or negative infinity, really it's the only uh, it's only the leading term that's the piece that we really care about. And one word of caution before I wrap this video up here. Notice that this is only going to work if x is going to positive infinity or negative infinity. All bets are off if I had another limit. If, if I was looking at, say, you know, limit as x approaches 0 or, you know, limit as x approaches 2 or something like that, then I can't use this method. I still need to pay attention to the rest of the polynomial. So just keep that in mind that we're only applying this property if x is approaching positive infinity or negative infinity.